Adding lights to a mechanical rendering is critical to presenting your designs as they will be built. Each AutoCAD drawing has a default lighting scheme that enables you to view the contents of the drawing. However, this lighting scheme does not represent the real world. To obtain that real world representation, you must add lights to your design that represent the type and intensity of the lights that will be installed when the structure is built. To integrate a light into your design, you first select the type of light you need. You can add point, spot, distance, or web lights to your drawing. When adding a light, it is a good idea to give the light a meaningful name that will enable you or others to locate and edit the light later. In an AutoCAD drawing, a light is similar to any other geometric object. You can use many of the modify commands, such as move, copy, and delete, to edit it. However, to alter the characteristics of the light, you have to edit its properties. Just like other objects, you can select multiple lights and edit the common characteristics simultaneously. Each type of light has its own unique characteristics that must be addressed when they are added to a design. As you can see, we initially added a series of point lights to the design. Point lights only require that the source location of the light be defined. Since a spotlight gives off a different type of light, it requires additional information. In addition to defining the source, you must also define the target location. As you can see, adding lights to your designs can have a dramatic effect on a rendering. Knowing how to properly add and adjust the properties of lights will increase the quality of your rendered scenes.